안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today we're gonna be doing a huge nail transformation because I am gonna be doing extendo nails for the first time. These are extremely long, long XXL sized nails. <laughs> and we're just doing this for fun. I've never tried it before, and the longest I've gone is about an inch. <sighs> so we gonna do we gonna be doing some um class today. This video is brought to you in partnership with Avo. They sent me this nail drill that I will be demonstrating throughout this video. If you are interested in getting into nail enhancements like gel nails, acrylic nails, or poly gel nails, it is an absolute must that you get an electric file, an e-file. I've already opened my box, but I just want to show you what it looks like when it comes in the mail, when I first started doing my own gel nails, I didn't use an e-file for about half a year. And right when I started using one, I was like, why didn't I do this before? Because it takes so long to file your nails down, especially if they are thick enhancement products. It also makes your shoulders really sore to be filing and hacking down on the gel or acrylic with a hand file. So we're going to go ahead and get started by first removing my current gel many. I have these fluorescent nails on. They're quite outgrown. I mean, as in the back. I've already got my sizes here for my tips. Hi, baby. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little baby. Oh, Play-Doh. Play-Doh. The drill looks like this. It's actually quite light and very small, easy to use. Plug it in with this USB. You can plug it into any USB wall outlet adapter. And there is a switch here as well. This switch lets you control the speed, and this switch lets you change the rotation from forward to reverse. It also comes with 11 swappable bits that you can put into the nail drill. And I actually like the design of this one where you don't have to actually twist it open. All you have to do to get the drill bit in is just to push it all the way down and it's nice and secure. My other e-files I had to actually like twist it open or spin something to get it loose but this one is very easy. All you have to do is just plop it in and out. It also comes with 36 extra sanding bands at different grits. The lower <laughs> the lower the number, the more coarse the grit is. There's also a little brush here that you can use to clean off your drill bits. Now depending on whether you go forward or rear, the light will turn green or blue and then you can decide how fast you want the dial. So to remove my gel polish, I'm going to use like a medium fast speed. You can have anywhere up to 20,000 rotations per minute on the fastest speed. Now the aluminum body of the drill is designed to disperse the heat with low noise and low heat. But what I like to do to avoid heat spikes on my nail is actually, let me turn on my fan. Remove my gel color little by little. First removing all the color, which will then reveal my extension gel, clear gel underneath. I only like to use my e-file on my gel and for my natural nail bed, I like to use a hand file or the diamond drill bits that are made for the cuticle area and the natural nail. These are very, very gentle drill bits compared to the sanding bands that you use to sand down the nail enhancements. Now I'm gonna prep the nail surface by removing this lifting gel. So you can see there's little areas where the gel, my clear gel lifts. Just like what I did with this nail, I'm gonna remove this lifting here with the white haloing just so that any product I put on top of here is gonna stick really well. By going at a low speed, lightly over these areas, and we should be able to remove the gel that's been lifting. Smoothing out that gel and any other edged areas. And we can also remove any dead skin from the cuticle area by going in with one of the diamond drill bits to polish the surface and remove any cuticle stuck to the nail. Now with my previous nail drill, it was quite heavy and bulky because it had like a separate motor 
to it, but this works just as well and strong. That one I got for around $200 at my Sally's, but this one you can actually get it for $17 if you are interested. It's super inexpensive with the extra 15% off code down in the description, which is only available until December 31st. So it'll make a great gift for Christmas and it'll save you a lot of time and energy. For the rest of our nails, we're gonna clean off with some rubbing alcohol. This is gonna get rid of any dust or oils left on the nail bed and I'm gonna place my pH bond which is a nail dehydrator it'll balance out the pH on the nail to help everything stay on better we're also gonna do a thin layer of our primer cure it now before we get into our tips I am actually gonna put an extension gel which is a bit of a thicker gel to create a sticky base that the poly gel on the tips can stick to. And if I did get some on my skin, I do like to clean it up before I cure it. And hold it upside down before I give it a full cure. Now in order to get my tips built, what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> this feels so weird guys. Actually fill in the bottom of the tip first using rubbing alcohol on my brush. Place a bead on my fingers. Grab my cured tip. Put the tip onto my nail. And at the bottom, I'm rubbing alcohol. Because it's heavy, it might be slipping and sliding around. But the most important part is to make sure it's straight. And then we'll cure that. Do my last finger here. I haven't actually filed these down. I meant to take them out after they had cured. Some people like to glue these on and some like to use them as forms. I don't like to use glue because every time I do work with glue, the glue does dry out in the bottle. So I, I like to avoid using glue. <laughs> Before I start building up, the thickness of the nails i'm going to file down the sides just to clean up especially the overspill here now I'll start building the nail by placing my poly gel compressing it and then take my rubbing alcohol and smooth and i'll go ahead and cure this while i do my next nails If you look from the side you can see that it's quite thin on the tip so I do want to build some strength here on the tip so I'm gonna keep applying some more build it up little by little so that the tip here is nice and strong with the same place build and form the rubbing alcohol it'll help us smooth it all out now that we have our general shape which looks like a beak i think that's what we're aiming for i'm gonna file down the sides here to make the sides nice and crisp now i asked you guys on instagram what colors you think I should do and I really liked the gradient one I feel like with these super long nails and with longer nails in general you're able to have more space for designs it's really like an art form like almost like a costume <laughs> and the reason why I did my poly gel white was so that colors to pop onto I feel like lockdown 2.0 is the perfect time to do nails like these because I'm not really going out. It's literally just eye candy, just art to look at. Now this is my first time having nails this long. I'm not as worried about wiping my butt because I have a bidet and I know a lot of you will be worried about my butt, but I'm more worried about my cooking. I, I'm wondering how I'm gonna cook with these nails, guys. <laughs> 
새같이 생겼어. <웃음> looks like a t It looks like a parrot. Oh my gosh. Your local toucan. <웃음> I'm gonna try going in with a matte top coat. It's my first time using a matte top coat. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks so cool. I don't know why. It kind of, <웃음> kind of reminds me of candy corn. <웃음> Or like glow sticks. I'm not a nail tech, so it does look a little bit amateur, but I think it looks pretty cool. I feel like a dragon or something. I feel like a dragon. I feel like my fingers are colored. <laughs> Just to remove some of the bulk, I'm gonna remove some poly gel from underneath the nail and also clean up the color that's gotten under here as well. It looks like an elementary school art project. <laughs> wow, she has a lot of dust. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> They're so unnecessarily long. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Regardless, I think it does take a little bit of skill and the right tools to become a werewolf. I think they look pretty cool. I might have them on for a few weeks. They make my fingers look so skinny. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me create these talons, monsters. Please check out Avo's new launches with their nail drill and their magnified ring light mirror as well. They're currently on discount for 15% off with the codes down below. This drill is definitely a lot easier to use than my large $200 drill, but it still has the same amount of power. So definitely check it out for only $17 and let me know if there are any future nail videos you'd like to see me do. And I will see you next time.